Uvalde, Texas on a ranch at the southwestern edge of the Texas Hill Country, a hunting guide spotted her cooling off in the shade an African reticulated giraffe. Such is the curious state of modern Texas ranching, that a giraffe among the oak and the mesquite is an everyday sort of thing. That's Buttercup, said the guide, Buck Watson, 54. Wildebeest run free on the Ox Ranch's rangeland in Uvalde, Texas, photo New York Times in a place of rare creatures, Buttercup is among the rarest she is off-limits to hunters at the Ox Ranch. Not so the African bongo antelope, one of the world's heaviest and most striking spiral-horned antelopes, which roams the same countryside as Buttercup. The price to kill a bongo at the Ox Ranch is $35,000, Himalayan tars, wild goats with a bushy lion-style mane, are far cheaper. The trophy fee, or kill fee, to shoot one is $7,500. An Arabian oryx is $9,500, a Satatinga antelope, $12,000 and a black wildebeest, $15,000. April Molitor watches with her father, Jason Molitor, chief executive of the Ox Ranch, as newly arrived black buck antelope are released from a trailer at the ranch in Uvalde, Texas, photo New York Times We Don't Hunt Giraffes, Watson said. Buttercup will live out her days here, letting people take pictures of her. The Ox Ranch near Uvalde, Texas, is not quite a zoo, and not quite an animal shooting range, but something in between. The ranch's hunting guides and managers walk a thin, controversial line between caring for thousands of rare, threatened and endangered animals and helping to execute them. Some see the ranch as a place for sport and conservation. Some see it as a place for slaughter and hypocrisy. The ranch has about 30 bongo, the African antelopes with a trophy fee of $35,000. Last fall, a hunter shot one. Taking one paid their feed bill for the entire year, for the rest of them, said Jason Molitor, the chief executive of the Ox Ranch. To many animal protection groups, such management of rare and endangered species breeding some, preventing some from being hunted, while allowing the killing of others is not only repulsive, but puts hunting ranches in a legal and ethical gray area. Exotic game ranches see themselves not as an enemy of wildlife conservation but as an ally, arguing that they contribute a percentage of their profits to conservation efforts. We love the animals, and that's why we hunt them, Molitor said. Most hunters in general are more in line with conservation than the public believes that they are. Wildlife experts said there are more black buck antelope in Texas than there are in their native India because of the hunting ranches. In addition, Texas ranchers have in the past sent exotic animals, including scimitar horned oryx, back to their home countries to build up wild populations there. Hunting has absolutely nothing to do with conservation, said Ashley Byrne, the associate director of Campaigns for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. What they're doing is trying to put a better spin on a business that they know the average person finds despicable. A 2007 report from Texas A.M. University called the exotic wildlife industry in America a billion-dollar industry. At the Ox Ranch, it shows. The ranch has luxury log cabins, a runway for private planes and a 1,800-square-meter lodge with stone fireplaces and vaulted ceilings. More animals roam its 18,000 acres than roam the Houston Zoo, on a tract of land bigger than the island of Manhattan. Because the industry is largely unregulated, there is no official census of exotic animals in Texas. 1. Estimate by John T. Backus, a retired Texas State University biologist, puts the current total at roughly 1.3 million. The Ox Ranch needs no local, state or federal permit for most of their exotic animals. State hunting regulations do not apply to exotics, which can be hunted year-round. The creatures are not the only things at the ranch that are exotic. The tanks are, too. The ranch offers its guests the opportunity to drive and shoot World War era tanks. People fire at bullet-ridden cars from atop an American M4 Sherman tank at a shooting range built to resemble a Nazi-occupied French town. New York Times